Oh my god, I cannot believe how, how great that product is. Oh, she's so beautiful, isn't she? That was going well until the tape snapped. The tape snapped. We've done it. <laughs> how do you know there's not behind that, like electricals? Find out in a minute. And um, just got to tidy this garage up for the last time. And uh, I think that's probably the last time we'll be here. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new vlog. Just getting dressed as I'm doing this, killing two birds with one stone. Listen to him squawking in there. Um, today is a busy day for us. We are rerouting cables in the van and adding a new power cable and routing a USB cable under the floor. So, I've been trying to get this um, automotive cable from Webster's, Practical Motorist, Multicount, Parker's Parts, Motor Parts Direct, City Electrical Factors, Webster's. Anyway, I've rung so many different places, I felt like J.R. Hartley after a copy of Fly Fishing. Anyway, I can't get hold of any, so we're going to have to go to B&Q and just use standard domestic two-core cable. Um, I'll show you what we need it for later on in this vlog. But right now, I'm just waiting for Lee to get ready and then we're off. Morning, Taylor. Oh, you're looking beautiful. You can sod off. <laughs> that trim. Oh my God, I cannot believe how, how great that product is. This is not like a sponsor for this for that product, but God, it is good. Look at that. She looks beautiful. So this is the part that I've ordered the replacement for. As you can see here, this bit's damaged. Um, it was hit in a, in a car accident here on the metal way before we bought Taylor. So this entire section here will be replaced and there'll be a new back step going in and the TDI lettering will cover that. And then we'll have the word crafter. Well, it will, it'll say camper there uh, across the back. And then look at the trims around here. This side actually does need another coat, especially here. You can see where there was paint patches there and we've rubbed it off with um, isopropanol and it's, you can, you can basically see it and I'm not happy with that. So we're gonna, we're gonna get that sorted, give it another coat. This panel here was the worst one, as you saw on the pictures, which we'll put on the screen now. This was light gray, I'm like ready. completely light gray. Yes, yes completely light grey so that's going to need another coat. It has actually brought most of it out and then there's a patch here. Just some isopropanol and then put some more colourant, uh, some uh, polytrol on it and there we go. I don't care about window. And then this bit here may need a little bit more but uh, there we go. <gasps> She's so beautiful isn't she? Right, first stop is B&Q, and then we have to call it a post box because we have to send um, the logbook off to the DVLA to tell them that we've changed the colour of the van. You just have to do that for um, identification purposes. Um, and then we have to let the insurance company know, which I've already sent a message and done that. So, uh, and then Lee wants to call for some corn so we can make another curry tonight. Yes. Here we are again, B&Q. Nice and warm today. It's good B&Q, what's behind that kind of van there? Bacon sandwich. Do you want one? Not yet. Oh. And easy, found what we need, £7.53. Are that you sure gone. that's all we need yeah, that's before we go back? Well, unless they've got the proper audio cable even I doubt we will have. <laughs> Very good hour, we're still not eating, Robin. After all this time. No, it's because it's blood. We must have done, because there's stains on driver's seat. That'll have been you. I won. Had we brought Taylor, we'd have just been signed back now. I know. Next stop, Mori Bob's, and we've remembered to bring a um, bag because the 60 pence here for a carrier bag, which is ridiculous. Love these, Chris, my favourite ones. Come for the jam, come in, we're coming for one thing, but we'll go out with just as always things you need. Right, we're back. So, whilst Nick is doing some things on the van, I do have to help him with a couple of stuff. We'll show you in a minute. I'm going to wash the car because it's absolutely filthy, like grimy and caked in mud. So, I've got this kit out which came with the car, which is quite a nice kit actually. Um, came with our Tucson, uh, our Tucson. Um, and it's got all sorts of stuff in it. It even comes with a dry shampoo, oh that's it. Dry wash. Dry wash, so if you don't have to, do it, to wash your car, just squirt that on it, it says it gets rid of dirt. I'm not sure how uh, good that is. I'm not doing that because it's, it's absolutely filthy. Uh, but it came with all sorts of stuff. Bird dropping remover. What's this? Glass guard. Alloy wheel cleaner. Yeah, well, I'll put some on that. Oh, look at that. I wondered where that had gone. What is it? How come it's ended up in there? Is it yours? Yeah. No they um, Havaianas, whatever it's called, little um, thing. I used to wear that. 
lost it. Um, Hyundai Tire Guard. I think you ought to just say Hyundai, don't you? How do you say Hyundai? Hyundai. Hyundai or something. Conserver maintains per paintwork protection. So there's thing all sorts in here, but uh, where, what do I need? I think this is it. Yeah, wash and wax, that's what I'm going to use. I'm just going to go and pressure wash it first. Do you need my help first? Hey? Do you need my help before I start? Yeah, we need to take the dimensions of the van and put it on the checklist. Right, I'm going to be helping Nick for a little while, but I'll just show you the state of the car before I start. It's filthy. It does kind of look like it might rain, but I don't care. It's got to be done, but I've got to go help Nick for a bit first. Right, what's crack? We need to reroute this cable into a conduit through the floor. So first things first, I need to get it disconnected off here. It doesn't sound like an easy job. It's, I don't think it's going to be now because I've just realised there's a, a lug on the end and the lug is wider than the um, than the cable. So I have a feeling that this is not going to work unless we re-end the lugs, which I don't have. <sighs> Right, well, Nick's just figuring that out. I'm going to start with this. Right, Nick's had to cut the lug off and he's, this is the conduit that we're putting through. So he's taped it on there with some tape and I'm guessing he's going to pull that through now. Or am I pulling it through? Which one? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, let me pull it back through. Right, try now. Yeah. Well, it seems to be going through quite easily. That was going well until the tape, snapped. the tape snapped and it's now completely messed up. So the cable's out and there's nothing in there. So we need to try and get a cable back in with these threaded rods, hopefully. Well, it's basically like we did it on the very first time. Yeah. Right, we're going to try with the black cable now. Let's see if we lose this. Well, they both can't work. They both need. They both need to be working together for it to work. So, so I'm going to try with the black cable to pull the conduit through and um, putting some wire on it as well. So hopefully that'll go through as well. It gets kind of stuck in the middle though. There's insulation midway in the floor. I remember when, when I were doing it. But if this can burst through it and just cut through the insulation, as long as we kind of rock it and chisel away at it, do you know what I mean? Mm. Right, so that's just, that's just threading wire. So we can pull the black back through that and yeah. push the red through the conduit. Are you sure there's enough on there? Yeah. Sure. Well, I can't get any more and it won't go through all. Success. It's come out the other end. We've got one through. Thank God. Unfortunately, the black's here and both need to go back through. Mm. The red can go through the conduit once I get into the cable. And then the black can be pulled back through on this. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We've done it. Red through the conduit. <laughs> That's one cable. We've got three more to go. Well, I know, but I don't care. As long as we've done one, then I know it can be done. Take a, it took a while. Right. Where's, now the black, where's the black cable you told me to pull through from this end? What black cable? When we were doing it, he said pull black one through. I meant this one. Oh, we're just talking about that one. Right. Storm Catherine's blown up a gust. She can piss off Catherine. Right, I'm going to fasten the black. I'm going to pull all this slack through, pull it so it's about there, and then I'm going to fasten the, bla the black cable onto the end of this and then pull the black cable through. Two more through, the black cable's through, and we've put this white cable through. The thread wire so that we can pull the new cable that we got from B&Q back through. Along with the USB for the dash cam. Yeah. So this, this conduit is getting smaller and smaller the more we pull through it, so... Let's hope it'll work. Can you go and get the uh, 10 meter long cable that's in the dash cam box? All through. Power. All ah, right, how much slack of this is there on the other end? Loads. Uh, right, can you just make sure it don't all pull in? Yeah. Right, Nick is now on with the coin flooring. I've done as much as I can on that now. I need a lug um, in my wires box where I've got to find it. And then I've got to crimp the end and reconnect the alternator battery. And then the dash cam, the rear camera's in. There. And the wire runs down and extends to the front and it'll just need to be extended into the window. Um, but I'll do that later. Then I've got to put all the tin stuff on here. Uh, and 
going to put the kite floor down now and then cut out the shape. So this is going to be difficult. And I'm now putting polish on the car so it's cleaned. Whenever you um, clean the car though, it always looks streaky as all. So I'm using this dry polish now to um, buff it up. Heavy. Yeah. Difficult. It's very difficult because I need to roll it over and do that end first and then flip it back and do this end. Right, the car's done as much as I can do now. It's gleaming. The wind is wild, but uh, it's done for uh, another six months. And Nick is on with making these mats, which look to be almost done. So a little door mat for when you get in just to wipe your feet so the black carpet doesn't get absolutely Rest. filthy. Are you gonna stick it down though? I'm not, it's rubber, rubber backed, it's sticky itself. All oh, right, okay, so you can wipe your feet on it. Yeah, without it coming off. I mean, it's not gonna, it's gonna move if you push up hard on it. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to cut another one. And the coin flooring's done, let's have a look. It's not great. Nick's not impressed with it. Um, I quite like it. It's like it'll get mucky quite quick, but quite easy to wipe off, so at least it gives, you know, the wood and stuff protection. Oh, I like that. Next job, Nick's fitting the uh, dash cam. So this is what we are talking about, if you saw the um, video when we got the dash cam, about putting all the wires above the tr into the trim so you can't see them. Crying. So trying. And then right, we've, there we go. we've got, um, obviously you can't see the wires at all, and a nice dash cam at the front and one at the back. Right. I've got it rigged up, um, but I've got to get this back on now and get the wires into this trough. That's where I'm going to need your help. Yeah, where's that come from? Oh, right, okay. Off here. So I have to tuck this in, down there, somehow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then as I clip this back on... To be careful you don't... Get it into the, you know what I mean? No, you need to do that, that's what I'm saying. There, that's it. Yeah, but I've got to get it now back into the, into the rubbers. And get it clipped back onto the frame. And I don't even know if it's lined up. Easy. No, it's not. Why? That end's not in. Almost easy. Back. I need to go underneath and have a look. See if I can see it. Yeah, I can and it's not clipped in. Right, we're still on with the dash cam. So what are you doing now? I'm gonna fit another cigarette lighter into the plastic down there, which will run off the ledger battery in the back, which means that we will be able to use the um, the dash cam as a CCTV camera on a night. Right. So, and we're parked up, we can have it recording time-lapse for like security and stuff. So I'm just crimping the ends to put onto the cigarette lighter. I wish we had some visitors over. Right. So they can make us a cup of tea while we're working, busy working. The car is gleaming away. Inside and out? Well, I've not done all the inside, but I did the inside the other day, didn't I? Vacuumed it and stuff. But it's just taking me hours, that, because I had to keep stopping to come and help Nick as well. Um, so uh, I might just nip in and uh, make us a cup of tea. Right, before you do that, what have we got on his list? Where's the list? Keep. Keep. We've put everything on Google Keep. So, um, we've done quite a bit. Nick, Nick always thinks we haven't done a lot. We could do like 150,000 like things. I finish a job and I can't finish either thing that I've done today. Oh shit, that's come off. We could do 150 things in a day and Nick would still be like, no. Uh, fly screen. Not doing that. Do that after the UK road trip. Grill to fix. Can't do that. Mats. Um, You've done them. Mats, done that, yeah, you can knock that I'll off. I'll knock that off. Uh, dash cam, which we're on with now. Shall I tick it off yet? No. Extend socket for pump. I don't know what that means. We put that down, we don't know what it means. Drone. Um, Not doing I need that to yet. look up a drone because I want a drone for the vlogs. Headlight reflectors, that's for when we're going to Europe, isn't it? Yeah, I need to order them. Uh, and that's it. Right, can you get me the pliers so, so I can crimp this cable because my crimps are buckled? So we're uh, not doing too bad today. Let's hope right. it doesn't crack everything. Nice and optimistic, aren't you? Well, I've learned from you. Wait a minute, it's on the pissing wrong setting. How do you know there's not behind that, like electricals? Find out in a minute. Right. I need some more hole drills. Right, we now have a uh, another cigarette lighter there. So uh, Nick's just um, getting a five amp fuse and then that should start working. 
I'm glad you know what you're doing because I ain't got a freaking clue. Right, so the other end of that cable now is going to be cabled into this circuit here. So the dash cam should be starting up now. Let's have a look. Yep, I've just heard it. Yeah? Yep. God, I'm good. I must admit, you are. <laughs> that is brilliant. So we basically ran a 12 volt power cable from the ledger battery at the back, under the floor conduit, round the seat, down there, and we put in a cigarette lighter, an extra one. So when we did the video about um, cigarette lighters, because it's a VW, this one here, that one there, yeah. is permanently wired. So that's your ACC one or vice versa. And that one there, goes on and off when it's when the ignition's on and off. So we're gonna have to use this one when we're driving to power the dash cam, which will effectively go in there like that. But on a night, we just simply pull that cable out, pop it in there, mm -hmm. and that will let us run it as a CCTV camera. Come to inspect? Yes. Right, I'm on the inspect. So um, we've got this plant, so we're gonna get a little pot for it and kind of put that there. Looks nice with that cloth on it. Well, yeah, it does actually. Added, added extra. Added it means extra. you can clean it at the same time. <laughs> and then I've put the phone holder up there, so you slot your phone in, and then there's a little hole on the other side to plug the cable in, which you can charge off here, or you can charge off here. Um, the dash cam is done as much as I can do today. The problem we've got is there's two USB cab two USB-C cables, which I've... I'm extending two, basically, because the 10-meter cable wasn't long enough to reach the back and route round and get into the thing. So, um... There's when one. Away? There's when one of those away? coming from Amazon for three pound eighty nine. When are we going to wait for a few days? Oh, I've got loads to do. You get this rubbish tidied up, and then round here, some little storage baskets, and the coin floors in. I'm not happy about the coin floor. It looks a mess, I quite but like it. it's going to. I like it. I it it doesn't fit for a start, and it's cut and sliced in wrong places. When you get in, because you, we get in. It's, you get it's stuff, nicer on your knees, yeah. But your knees. I think it needs another staple there. Where's, where's the gun? I think I've took it in already. So when you come in with your knees, it's a lot better on your knees. And then uh, that's it for Timo, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the reversing camera here. Let me pull this curtain down now. You can pull yours down because we're closing it up. I think I've done for today, haven't I? This plastic trim's on. So you look and we're just this, waiting for this bumper. Something. These need to be sorted. You can't. You won't be having the back door open like that. I'll just hold that. For? So where uh, you get that sorted, right, so and I'm going to make a curry soon. What time is it? To fold these back. Half past five. Put it on an elastic band that pulls it back. Mm. As soon as you t disconnect it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Catherine's at it. She's just blown the hedgehogs out of the gutters, and they're about to go in the lake. So Lee's running around to save them. I would save them, but I'm in my underpants because I'm just getting changed. I don't know which one it's from. I presume it's from. Oh shit! Okay, so that's really strong wind. <sighs> Note to self, don't open that window. And we need to close all these because it's going to lift the roof off if we don't. I've shut all the doors and windows. I've got the outside with some things on it. And that, that grass is sodden. Is it, is it sloshy? Very, very thick. It was when I was tidying the rubbish at the back of the van, actually. <sighs> I'm going to make a curry now. Go on then. Right, we're done for the day. And I've got to say, these are the most simplest things to make a curry with. It's just so easy. We're having original Boona tonight. So a little packet of um, so uh, not sauces, like spices, uh, has gone on. Cook that for a bit more, wait for the corn to cook through, dump that in, and then fill that with um, water and put that in. And it's done so easy. And we usually put a little bit of coconut um, yogurt in it as well, just to make it nice and creamy. What a day. I'm knackered. Aren't you? Uh, From washing car. Well, to be fair, it took me a few hours, that. <laughs> it took you the entire time that I was in the van. Yeah, because I had to keep something. And now it's mucky you. again. Well, I know, but... I've just had to nip out to the shop to get some lugs um, to put on the end of the DC to DC charger cables, which we're going to do tomorrow morning, and there's puddles everywhere, and I've just had to drive through them all. So the car is going to be filthy again. Six. You can clean it again tomorrow. Um... So I'm off to chill now for the rest of the night. Is this the end? is this the first day of the vlog? Yeah, or? I actually quite enjoyed cleaning the car on my own. It's probably the first time I've cleaned one of our cars on its own. We usually just do it together, don't we? Why don't you do it van then? When oh, it gets yeah, mucky, it took me absolutely hours to do that. Why? I just enjoyed just big having the time to do it without Speedy Gonzalez here, who, who speeds through everything like a, a 
a freight train. Yeah, but look what I've done. It's time to get time to do it. And I know I'm talking like I've just done like an, a big operation. Or You've cleaned the car. <laughs> You've cleaned the car. I'll get you a gold badge. I just enjoyed the mindfulness of it and just cleaning the car, waxing it. I put polish on it. I you put, put polish on? Yeah. And um, Poor cars, can filter now. And, and then I put that, um, what do they call it, windscreen protector thing. The one that you've not rubbed in and, is gre and streaky as chuff. Is it still streaky? Yes. I've been mean, rubbing it in for hours, that. You, you put the tiniest amount on and yeah. then rub it in. Oh, well, I'll put quite a bit on. Um, You're not reading instructions? Is it, is it supposed to be that stuff that when rain hits, then it just rain sort of like goes on? Yeah. Again? Well, it's it's the Hyundai version of it. I'm just watching a, um, a van life. Not this particular one. We're just watching um, somebody, from, a couple from South Africa who's just landed in the UK, bought a van and gone, gone off. <laughs> <laughs> They've not even unpacked the holes. Yeah. But the one before that I was watching and she parked up um, across from somebody's houses, just... In like a residential area, she stopped there for two nights, and one of the residents put on a, a note on a windscreen saying, "This is not a campsite. Please do not park here." Not can you imagine? Door. Can you imagine when somebody puts a note on our window? Yeah, what I'm going to do? Be parking anywhere in, in like a street? No, we won't be doing that. We'll be in proper like laybys yeah. and campsites and things like. That. I've read. I have read on the uh, van life groups that people do do that. Put stickers on window or fake. Um, there was one. There were a post a few weeks back that. Somebody in Cornwall had faked a council letter with the council <laughs> logo on it saying um, phone council Cornwall housing if you've got nowhere to live <laughs> before putting it on Facebook. To be fair though, if you're parking outside somebody's house and you just, a big camper van is there for two to three days, you'd be like, what the frick is this camper van doing? Yeah, but you're not on the street. Well, I know, but like if it were mum and dad's house and a big camper van just pulled up outside and decided to live there for three days. All, all... Parents park in front of your mum's house and they're picking kids up well, and stay there for hours on end while they go shopping. That's not like living there for three days, is it? No, anyway, it's not. You go chill. I'm going to catch up on some uh, TV now. Oh, I'll probably be asleep in 10 minutes. So before I go, I'll show you guys this. Um, so this is all the fuses uh, at the back I'm and what the amp... Down. Thank you for the update. This is all the fuses, the fuse number and the ampage and what um, what it's used for. So if ever we've got like a fuse that blows, the panel does light up anyway and tells you when the fuse has gone. But these are the rated amps that we've got for each thing. Um, we've now got the updated checklist. And as you can see at the bottom, it's got our um, gross weight on there, our net weight, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then the length of the van with all the different bits that we've put on. So the height is... 266 centimeters um, that, that's right from the floor right up to the top of the max air and there's a good sort of two or three centimeters above clearance so if we're going through any sort of bridges or tunnels we know um, or any rate on any lanes that are weight restricted not for that kind of weight anyway but um, there we go and then we've got the rest of the checklist which um, is the turn off list the stowaway list the drop list and the sizes so there we go Right, I'm now going to chill. Bye! Good morning guys, welcome to the next morning. Um, we've just woke up, what time is it? Well, we haven't just woke up. Well, I'm still trying to open my eyes. Let's put it that way. What time is it? Well, it's now ten past eight. Ten past eight? Oh God, it's lying. I'm even looking at camera there. Let me just tilt it downwards. Um, I've been up about 20 minutes, just trying to come round. It's really sunny outside. Um, I've just done this. You might not have to see it in this light, but as you can see there... Hold on. As you can see there, there's like an embossing stamp. Now somebody sent us the machine for this years ago, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And we had no idea who. Well, um, did we not find out who it was? No. If you sent us it, let us know. Yeah, let us know in the comments below. We use it all the time, actually. Mm -hmm. Anything we want to sort of like put um, a logo on, we um, we use it. It's right hard to see on the camera, but well, I like the finish. We use it on a lot of um, patron stuff, don't you? Mm -hmm. Talking of patron stuff, that's what he's on with at the minute. These flowers are still not dead. Where they're going well. That looks a bit crispy now. I wonder if the water's run out. Oh yeah, put some more in there. Uh, I'm just making coffee and tea and then we are cracking on with three jobs for the van today. First job, lugs to put on that cable. Second job, carpet down the lat wall to finish it off. And third thing, we're building a stool. So we're going back to the garage. For the final time. For the very final time. And gonna build that stool. Right, so. We're just deciding, well we've already decided actually, um, this is a spare cushion that makes out the sofa but we're going to use this one as well Dual use. as a top for another seat here because um, as you saw 
if you watched when we went away in the camper van. We were dragging this around. We were dragging that over there because we wanted to sit here and look out. So we thought, now we've got some more weight, we can uh, allowance, we can put another stool there so we can sit there, there, and it's just an extra place to chill. It's mucky already. We, well, we scotch cards them as well, didn't we? Should come up then. Um, so, um, we need to go to B&Q to get some wood before we go to the garage. Right, thinner wood than this. Yeah. Because it's lighter weight and that, yeah. one weighed, that one weighed about 11 kilos, this stool. Yeah. And it's the same stuff we made the kitchen from and it doesn't need to be that thick. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we need to decide whether we're buying a massive two and a half meter sheet or whether we're just going to get one of those mini ones and see whether we can take all the cuts off that. So. I'm going to measure it and Lee's going to write it all down and I'm going to work out whether one sheet will be enough. It looks beautiful out there, but it is gale force winds. Nick's having to keep hold of the steering wheel quite tightly because it keeps blowing us away, doesn't it? The side of the van's acting like a sail. Yeah. So as soon as it gusts, it pushes the van across into the other lane. When's Kathleen supposed to be going? I don't know, but she can freak off. Hopefully uh, it's the last day because we're, uh, fingers crossed, planning to go away tomorrow for a few days. Right, so we need two of these. We wanted a bigger one, but being Q here, they don't have any bigger ones. So we're having to get two of those. Just getting a few more screws as well while we're here, just in case. I think we have some, but just in case. Well, it might be his last time at being Q for a while, so <laughs> might as well. Much better when we can sit inside, isn't it? Mm. Should have sat in back. Yeah. But tables and chairs have proper set up, so. It's nice and warm in this cab, though, isn't it? Mmm, mm, cozy. This wind is doing my nutting. Anyway, we're here at the um, garage and... We have to make us that's first cut for yep. the two longest side panels and then the others will fit to this. So, so we don't have the um, the, the saw horses anymore because we've got everyone given to me, Dad. Because we thought we'd finished. Clamped, please. So we're going to use the clamps. And the circular saw. And the circular saw and just try and do it on the floor. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop the traffic light Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down We've got the uh, the base of the uh, right, minute, wait, minute, wait, stool. Minute, I want it to collapse, right. Does that fit? With a slight overlap. I made sure it overlaps slightly. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Right. Okay. So we've got to do a top, a lid and a bottom now. No, we need to uh, iron the edges. Yeah. Put the edging on. Then we need to do the battens on the inside to give it some structural stability. Uh, you'll have to have a look at the other one on how we did it on the inside. That I could stay Wish for this moment To never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know That there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight In the summer night And you can't put up a fight In the misty light Streets all alone. 
going swimmingly and smoothly, isn't it? This. Apart from it rocks. Ooh. We'll sort that with um, pads because we, we need to put pads down anyway, and we need to put a bottom on. Yep. Um, so we can put some of this thin wood here on and just have a net, just so we can lift it up without everything dropping off. But there we go. It's getting there. Bring it up it. Joe, that's the lid. Hey? Eh? The lid. Well, a little bit of play at that end. Right, we now have a bottom to our uh, stool. Right. Our chair. So it'll sink slightly so the heads won't have to be scratching the floor. Yeah, well, we're going to put some um, like felt on as well, out because this one will be moving around quite yeah. a lot. So the stoppers are there. And there. There. I just need to know where I can drill the. Um, yeah, screws into. Yeah, right, okay. Oh, wait a minute, I've missed two. Uh, uh, and there. We're putting this iron-on stuff on, which got from eBay, did we? Uh, yeah, not eBay, Amazon. sorry, Amazon. Right, so it just point. makes... Um, gives it a nice edge. Yeah, gives it a nice Queen. edge. And you just iron it on. It's actually wood with glue on the back. It's just thin strips of wood. And then obviously we'll be painting this afterwards. Fill it first and then paint it. Yeah, I've put a new blade in that one. Oh, good. Right, so the hard bit is getting it to trim without it splitting like that, like it's splitting now. But that's not a problem because it's going to have sander on it, so take the excess off here. Okay. And then we just sand it. Done. We now have a new seat. So I've got to go back to the lodge now and tart this up, get it filled, get it painted and um, just got to tidy this garage up for the last time and uh, I think that's probably the last time we'll be here. We've said that before. Job done. Get your ass plonked. Watch it collapse. <laughs> I'd laugh my ass off if it did. Yeah. Once it's painted it will just feel like it's always been in here. Yeah. I probably just what I'd have to do is move it forward a tad. Why? Because you want to like relax out, do you know what I mean? Like you didn't that. on that one. Yeah, let me try it. Because you had an extra longer length. Right, let me try it. Let me try it flushed up first. You, you kind of sat vertical. Mm, I see what you mean. Yeah, so you just, it's alright. Well, once we've got the things on the bottom. I'll be sat here with a cup of tea as well. Yeah. This is fine. And then all we need now is a table there so I can edit looking out a window. We're not having another frigging table. <laughs> not so just replace all that with tables. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. Right, let's pack up, get back to the lodge, and uh, get that it all painted. Needs and stuff. back on. Mm. Was it just falling off now? The um, wood from the EQ knocked it down. It's magnetically clipped, so it should just go back on. Yep. There we go. Right, let me see you. So I'll be sat here sometimes, and I'll be sat here with a cup of tea like this, on a bacon sandwich or whatever. We we'll could just eat a bacon sandwich, and then we can have another guest here, or we could put this there and that here. Uh. Do you think we should put a bottom, bottom no, on that while we're here? That needs to stay there because that it, it, it fits there. 
know what I mean? And that's going to be moved quite a lot because we're going to look out of there. Well, this has got a bottom on it so you can fill it. Do you think we should put a bottom on that while we're here? Mm. It would mean re-sanding the holes. No, I don't think so because... Ah, no. Wait a minute. No, can't do it. It would need supports. Yeah, no, I think it would be all right. Deja vu. It's like we've gone back a few hours. No more sausage another, sandwich. For another sausage sandwich. <laughs> we're gonna, we just need some wood filler. So we some from our local builders merchants, but it's crap. It takes about a day to dry, and I need some Everbuild. I doubt B and Q will sell it, but we'll have a look. It's worth a shot. Done. Ron Seal high performance wood filler dries in 30 minutes. So that should be just right for you, Mr. Impatient, won't it? Perfect. Better than two hours for other one for two quid difference. Wood filler. 30 minute dry time. What? It what? says a pea sized amount of hardener. That'll do. That doesn't seem much, does it? To a golf ball sized amount of. Um, filler. Filler. Let me just put the lid back on. I think it's broke. So. Which is that? That's not a golf ball it's size. Like hummus? Is it? it just looks like hummus. I wouldn't try it. <laughs> That's about golf ball size, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. Roughly. Right, mix this in. Probably a bit more you need, maybe, for a golf ball size. Well, if I put more harder in, it'll dry quicker. And then presume you mix it like this. God, it's vapory. Very, um... <laughs> so, I'm just going to fill all the um, screw heads. And then um, get it painted. Right, let's get on with it. God, it's it's very um, vapory. What do you mean? Smell it? Like yeah, like potent, like painty smell. Vapory, solvent, solventy. Look at the state of it out here. Just in time, we got back. Slashing it down. <laughs> We're back. And I've just been out and got these, which are USB-C female to female to connect those two cables in the van for the dash cam for the rear camera. So I'm going to go, it's actually slashing it down at the minute. Catherine's back. So, Kathleen, Kathleen whatever. Um, and we also got these for when we take the van into Europe for the headlights. Lee's just having a bit of a tidy up. I've That should now be ready for um, sanding. The problem is I've got to go outside to do it. Mm. So... There ain't much I can do until I can get out there for five minutes. Fine, I see what you mean. Unless you come out with umbrella. Umbrella? I well, I can't do it. I can't do it. And then we've got to tidy this slum up. And then when all that's sanded, I'm going to start painting it like multiple coats. I'm hoping it's going to be done, all the coats done, and back in the van by about six or seven o'clock tonight. If it stops raining. If it stops raining. <laughs> Right, painting time. So that sanding didn't take too long, and now the uh, rain has stopped and the sun is out. It's just what's happening in, in the, uh, British weather at the Both moment. Plants. Sunshine and lots of water. Sunshine, sunshine, rain, wind, sunshine, rain, wind, cloud, storm, wind, rain, storm, bit of sunshine. Right, this should take, I reckon, three coats. Um, I've actually sanded the plywood down to get rid of some of the grain in it because you can see it in the lid, but that's not going to be seen anyway. I just did it for so it matches the other one. Are you going to paint inside or not? No. So, it, it'd look better if you did. Get lost paint inside, we haven't paint the other one inside. That's had two coats, so whilst that's drying, because um, it's going to, I think it's going to need about three because of the texture of the wood. 
I'm gonna go to the van and try these. Right. Put the keys down. Unlock this. Get in here. Fix that up. All these little things that actually came came about from the, the last trip. Right, so what I need to do to get that out for a start, I need to connect this cable and this cable here together with this and then go and start the um, dash cam and it should say three channels recording. So let's try this. Right, one end in there, one end in there, and now into the dash. Right, so rather than start the van, I'm just going to plug it into the permanent power supply down here and that'll boot up the um, dash cam. When I can find out where to get it in, there we go. And it boots up and it should say three channel recording. Come on, speak. Please insert a memory card. Oh bloody hell, it's lizard the card, but I can see it's working because I can see it at the back of the van. Oh, actually no I can't. Yes, I can. It is working. It just didn't speak because it's not recording. Lee's got the SD card out because he's been taking the footage off it. So it is working. So there we go. So all I need to do now is just tidy the wires up in the back and uh, we've got the system working. There we go. There you go. You can see that it's working. So you can see the camera at the back. You can see me there and you can see the, uh, the wide view, the 4K view there. Right. Hopefully the final coat going on. You can see a lot of grain on this one still. So this Where is the, soaked in. This what is, I'll do is I'll put loads on so it just coat number three, yeah. Yeah. It should be fine now this. I mean looking at the other sides, it's probably fine as it is on the other sides, but it's this one where the, you can see the paint soaked into the grain. We had this problem on the kitchen units, we just kept putting in layer and layer and layer, and eventually it just filled the little pits. Now I did sand it to try and get it completely covered, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It looks fine. Next job. No, it stops. <laughs> That's it. It's just literally one job to another job. So, um, look at that muck on that bottom window. That's actually um, carpet dust stuck in with the condensation. We're going to just, well, next clean the windows and then we're going to get this um, DC fix on just the bottom. And then we can open the top windows as usual and then we can open the them and just have them open more again if anybody's wondering like why do you need to frost your bedroom windows it's just because people walk on this street out here so we don't want to be laid on in bed just like having a nap or something in the afternoon and people's walking by or balls start naked well yeah so uh, we just want a little bit of privacy um this squeegee is rubbish so it was the dc fix that we got and then we got this um extra dc fix kit which comes with a knife and this thing to um, like put it on the window and get all the air bubbles out and stuff, make it nice and flat, hopefully. No, is, it's not a static kit, this one. It's actually a self-adhesive one. Yeah. So it's a little bit different to what you would normally use. Normally on a window, you would use um, like static and you'd use water to put it on. And we've done this before years ago. We had a house in Morley and we used this stuff with the sticky stuff on our kitchen window. Because we didn't like the neighbors. Well, that as well. <laughs> But um, there we go. So we didn't want to see him. Completely dry. Right, can you go get me a tape measure so I can cut out from here the rough size that we need? Right. Hold that. Right, and then fold the paper back. Like that. Yeah, that we'll put a crease in it, that's it. A big crease like that? Yeah. Just so I can get the first bit on. And then I just need to get the edge. The problem we've got, I need to make sure that. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's it, fold it there. Right, okay. What I'm going to do, just come to this end and make sure that it's just overlapping slightly at your end. Just hold it there, make sure it's overlapping. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then I just need to get it in the center there. Right, now hopefully when I pull it down, it don't twist off. Don't forget about this. It does. Tool. It does. It shan't. Eh, why? Because it's twisting off. Well, what I'll do is I'll, 
I'll peel it off. You don't want to. Ooh. No, I don't need that. That's stuck now, that's too late. Of any bubbles. This white look will disappear. They're a swine to get on. An absolute swine and you get bubbles like that that you just can't avoid. And you just gotta cut the damn not worked. Well it did, up it to here, there, and, then, and then it just flopped it onto the window like Kathleen had blown it. And um, I'm not sure whether you can see it on the camera, but it looks a mess. All this is basically adhesive that's been stuck and then peeled off, and all this is an air bubble from using this piece of crap that came with, with the cutting kit. By pushing the air, it's just literally millions of little tiny air holes now. So we're gonna have to tick it off, and uh, we're gonna try again with the next bit. No, I'm gonna try that window. And then if it works, we'll have to get another roll. Yeah. I don't like the idea of taking that off now, but it's going to leave some marks. Yeah, it won't. Or some adhesive. These are all, this is all air bubbles, this. Mm. The other side didn't work either. We, got, we didn't even get two inch. So how the hell I can sell this, I've no idea, because it does not go on glass. Not very well, that's it for sure. Well, looks to it. So, and the other one, it, it twisted while we were putting it on, so that was, it, it had least, like creases in it. At least it's come off nice and clean. Well, at least we're nearly clean. Right, so we have to find another solution. It has to be a static thing that you can wet the window and stick it on and then iron the bubbles out. Self-adhesive is just bullshit. I don't even know how they, how they can possibly, how could you possibly put that on glass? Somebody must obviously uh, get it right off and won't sell it. You can't, you can't do it on big strips, that's for, that's for sure. Next job which will hopefully turn out more uh, positive. Nick, for some reason, bought enough bacon to feed the cast of Downton Abbey. And enough butter to butter all their breads as well. So uh, we're going to have bacon and scrambled eggs on toast, cooked with le pack, not just to be butter. extra luxurious. I'm not, I'm not doing all this bacon. Oh no, it's just too much. we'll have a little bit for breakfast. Well, we'll take some in van. Well, yeah, that's true. So um, shall I start preparing the eggs? Yeah. We've got very large, free-range eggs. Oh, we put a lot of milk in this. Makes more scrambled egg. Using our new um, spoon rest. Working a treat. I think it should be that way, actually, shouldn't it? To start, uh, sort of dribble. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I never thought we'd be chopping bacon in this new uh, chopper. <laughs> yeah, a bit of fat food there. No, thank you. Bacon and scrambled eggs on toast. Do you want some HP sauce on it? Oh no, I'm not doing it with that. Well, actually, um, uh, it's like a breakfast, isn't it? Well, I'm on it. Right, um, that's drying. We're just having a bit of a chill. I'm just going to do some editing so that I'm sort of ready for tomorrow and I don't have to be doing it tomorrow because we're hopefully going to weigh in the van tomorrow. So we've just weighed the uh, the weight of the new base. It's five yeah. kilos and then the coin floor, that's probably another five kilos. So I'm just going to update the... Um, Spreadsheet. Laminate. Yeah, laminate, yeah. Right, it's a while later. We're in the lodge. Uh, no, no, we're in the uh, well, van. Me, <laughs> uh, we're just putting this in here now. It's all dried. I'm gonna look what it looks like. Oh yeah, I love that now that it's, it's just a... integrated now, yep, isn't it? Yep. Push it against the door. Wait a minute, this is wrong. This is I thought it was wrong way actually. Yeah. There we go. So that never needs to move really now. Just back and forwards, that's it. Oh, there's the uh, the grill for the bottom of the breville. There we go. No, shut that way, shut that way. Shut up and wait. See it. Mm, maybe turn it around because there's a bit of a ridge of paint I can see. What do you mean a ridge of can paint? Can you see it? You mean that? Yeah. No, that's the grain. Oh, we'll turn it round. Because I don't like it. I'll put pads on the bottom so we can drag it. Right, well, wait, wait, have a look. I love it. We're going to have a third person in for, <laughs> for wine now. 
You have to put it forward, won't you? <laughs> you feel well, like no, because, because when I'm sat looking outside, I'll be like this with like cup of tea. Cup of tea in there in the morning, just sat there on my tablet, reading news, cup of tea, you're editing. And there's bags of space, as long yeah. as you don't clutter it all with your rubbish. And just so I don't forget tomorrow, I've already packed me uh, wine, we don't call it wine, because I don't want to forget that tomorrow. Ooh, I know it is a bit cold, isn't it? It's freezing. Right, so now... I want to go. So wait a minute, so what we can do now, right, is this one should be the exact same depth as this one. Yeah, so that so extends that. we can that. now make the bed extend even longer by not having the bit out. When we, if you can look at the size of the, of the sofa, we've got a full proper sofa if we want now. Well, that will, that will, it'll, yeah, pretty much. It was 168 up to there. It's now another 32 and a half beyond that. So mm. we're almost at two metres. So you could lay down, you could, that could be a single bed now. Yeah. But obviously when that cushion's in use, you couldn't use, why is that light off? Hmm. Um, you couldn't use the extender because that's the cushion from the extender. I, well, we'll have just to see how we go, whether we actually ever need that extra cushion and get it done. But I extra love cushion. to get another one done so we've got enough for it all, but I doubt we'll ever use it all. Yeah, but you're not going to use a chaise long as well as a two <laughs> metre long bed, are you? <laughs> it's well good now. So since the last time, since the last time we went out in the camper van, we've fixed so many things. We've um, fixed these. We've fixed these, yeah. We've got that phone holder. Yeah. We've uh, sealed the worktops completely. We've ordered this, although we haven't got it put it up. I no. have actually got a plant pot coming tomorrow from Amazon, yeah. uh, which that will stand inside, and we can we can basically screw that there, and it will, it will kind of sit yeah. in a pot there in the corner. We've got the new cushion. Yeah. Um, put that back where it's supposed to go. Uh, yeah, we've got the new stool. This was the biggest enhancement, I think, the stool. Yeah, yeah. So, we've also got the... Dash cam. The dash cam, the bolt in the ceiling. Yeah, so we can open that door more. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we've got the bin, which I've not actually showed you yet. So, it's this is this. I like this bin, right, because it will either... You can either have it there like that, or on the back of the door, mm -hmm. if you wanted. So in our case, cooking on the front. we'll have it like that. So, and it it does close up. There we go. Yeah. So you can have it like that for putting rubbish in, and it comes with some bin bags as well. Or you can have it like this. Mm -hmm. So if you're cooking, you can scoop it all across. So you can have it like fastened to your drawer, maybe like this. So let me just show you. So we can have it there, like that. Yeah. And then when you're cooking. You can get all the crap off the worktop and then just scoop it all in your bin, put the lid on. Yeah, like that. And then when you're not using it, you can basically just pop it back in here like this. And it's lots on the shelf. I rearranged the cupboard so it yeah. all fits. I like the fact that now we've got that as well. Sometimes, unless I'm sat here when Nick's cooking, it is a little bit tight here. So now I can get out of where when you're cooking. <laughs> and uh, it is a little bit, unless I'm sat down. Yeah, but you get rid of the cushion while you're eating. I'm in time for moving around. I'll have this seat, you sit there. I'm in time for moving around while you're cooking. Well, just keep that away when I'm cooking. So I mean, I can come over here now. There we go. On my new throne. Now this was quite unstable, so we've decided that every time we pull the extender out now, we need to lay on the table to stop it from mm. stop it from wobbling. Yeah, um, extender is really va valuable though because it's yeah. uh, it's it's good. What else have we changed? Um, the the back, the curtains, the 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 flooring. Oh, you've, we've put the coin flooring down. A lot of the the changes you have in there: coin flooring, the curtains at the back, the dash cam netting. Um, what do you call it? Net on, storage. The dash cam. The wrap, obviously. The wrap, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, what else? And I quite like the fact that now, when I've got my, my shoes off, you can put your shoes in the box. Well, no, I can just put my feet up here as well. Well, yeah. Proper chill put, now. Once you put your shoes away. Yeah. You've got a storage box for your shoes now. Yeah. And then the other thing that we were concerned about when we were making the bed, and we knew this when we designed it, but we really didn't have a choice because to fit all this where it fits meant that the tap had to go there. And the problem we had, while the tap folds away when the bed's in place, this was an issue. Let me just hold it over there. If you accidentally kick that in the night, it opens the tap. So I've put this um, headband on that I got from the kids. So if you do accidentally kick it, the springiness of the band pulls it back in. It's a cheap, dirty, quick fix, but it works. It does the job. 
and it stops the work prop from flooding if, in case Lee kicks it in the night. But his feet don't come this far, his feet only come this far, so it should be fine. Right, we're back in the lodge. Ah. Nick's just covering up because um, he's chilling out. Um, and I'm going to finish. Well, I'm not naked, I'm just in my boxes. Yeah, but nobody wants to see that. Um, Some people do. I don't. Nick is going to decide, maybe it's now in the morning, where we're going to go on our next van trip, which hopefully, as long as the weather's not too bad, tomorrow. The weather's which, not looking great all week. I know, but we're, we're just going to go out because we, we know what... We went on that last trip and we got so many tips and ideas and things like, right, we need to do this, we need to do that. So it's all about that still now, just well, making sure everything's fine and stuff like that. We can either go up to Beamish mm -hmm. and Durham and Newcastle or... We've only got a few days because our friends Tracy and Neil are coming back well, on... it's a two and a half hour drive. Friday. Oh, that's not too bad then. Yeah, well, so, maybe. Maybe, yeah. So we'll we'll see. Anyway, so I'm going to finish the vlog. So thank you for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. And join us on the next vlog where, fingers crossed, we're going back out in the van <laughs> for a few yet. days. Well, I don't, I don't see why not. Well, I don't know. So come back and join There's us. Storm Kathleen still here. Well, I know that is true, but we'll see. And I've still got a bit of a cold. We'll see you on the next vlog. Bye. Bye.